Hi guys, it's Terry42 here with a review of Bitwig Studio, which is a new digital audio workstation uh, for all you producers out there. Now, Bitwig came out uh, a little over a month ago and we gave it a thorough test drive and checked out what's new and what's old and where the new Bitwig is uh, really making a mark. Now, first when we saw some of the uh, beta screenshots and uh, announcements, of course you could see a very similar design to some of the features you're, you've known from Ableton Live. And so some of the comparisons in this review also may come with a little bit of Ableton salt in it. So, what's Bitwig all about? Well, uh, it's a new digital audio workstation and we first thought that um, there are already a lot of uh, things going on in, in this market and um, software titles like Ableton, Logic and the like are already in the market for a very very long time and so we didn't know what uh, really could be new in this and uh, where it could stand out. Um, but we were really surprised uh, when we got to know Bitwig. The first thing uh, you may notice here behind me is that Bitwig really shines when you're working with more than one screen. You, have, you can have a lot of layouts, you can switch between different layouts, you can have an editor, you can have the edit view on the two screens, you can have session view, like you Ableton users more probably know it, and clip launcher view open at the same time, something I always wanted to have, and that's really nice to work with. So working on two screens, really, really a good thing. Um, also, all the meters that you have in the mixers, uh, and if you switch to mixer view, um, they are really big, they are useful, you can really fine-tune everything with it and go into your mastering and this, this, the whole layout of, of the software is really nice and works really well. Uh, that's one of the main features I really like is that it makes working with it really intuitive and really easy to do. Uh, of course, uh, there is one minor thing that I would like to have. There is no adjustable track heights. So if you are used to adjust your track heights like you do in Ableton, uh, that's not possible here, or at least I couldn't do it. And uh, for all you uh, Mac maniacs, I tested this on, on my Macs here and in the studio, um, it's like no real OS menus. You know if you're a Mac user you're used to have at the top of the screen your your menu and well that's a minor thing but some Mac users might be very used to it. Of course uh, because of the whole menu thing you can easily switch between to full screen view on both screens like behind me and still have the menus available to you. So for me actually not, not a bad thing at all. But, as I said, some users might have a gripe of it. Um, I did not test uh, Bitwig on Windows or Linux machines, it runs on both also. Uh, but from what I hear, it runs really well on both also. Um, the color scheme, as you can see behind me, is uh, kind of a fixed thing. So, you have to be used to this kind of dark setting and... Um, funky colors in between, but that's no biggie for me. I am used to a lot of software titles, so that's that's absolutely okay. And But one thing I'm uh, a little bit concerned about, the info view, if you really like it in Ableton, um, it's not really there in that extent that you uh, would like here in Bitwig Studio. Um, one major thing Bitwig Studio has going for it, although, is uh, they call it inline rendering. So what it actually does, if you 
inline render a MIDI track. You can have MIDI uh, tracks and audio track actually in one track. So the MIDI is rendered uh, in time and you can just put uh, some audio um, stuff over it, drag and drop it, move it between the tracks. Um, that's really a nice thing to have. So that's well workflow related and um, when we are talking about workflows um, in Ableton you're used to have uh, like your browser open most of the time and if you want to drag something from another project you have to open your browser uh, go through the files and then drag and drop it from the browser um, Bootweek has actually taken over a workflow much like you're used to in all new web browsers so you can have multiple projects open in tabs um, you activate the active tab by clicking on the Bitwig icon uh, in here the clip launcher or session view and make this the active output track but you can simply go to other tabs drag stuff and drag it to another tab so that's uh, sharing projects and working with multiple projects open uh, a very very easy tasks uh, one thing I found for me as a DJ of course is um, I could not get uh, it to work with any controller to have an AB crossfader assigned so uh, cutting over with the crossfader did not work for me of course uh, it's possible that I just didn't get uh, get it to work because there is uh, a Java API um, or JavaScript API which you can use to um, make your own settings for all controllers and program everything you'd like but as I said this crossfader design didn't work for me um, another nice feature that, that uh, Bitwig Studio has is you have a detail editor to really edit all the details with the histogram view and well that's a cool thing to have but it wasn't really a game changer for my workflow but might work really nicely for you um, then they have a thing called uh, node expression which le lets you actually draw automation curves uh, over the included instruments um, and that's something really you have to look out for and you can really do very nice things with that one so that's really a cool thing and of course if you want to edit notes in all their beauty the full screen edit view so you can blow up the edit view to full screen and edit notes in all their beauty so that's uh, something um, everyone who likes to work around with notation will find pretty useful um, of course, something I really like in Ableton, um, I sometimes get ideas in the middle of the night or something like that, um, is the whole audio to MIDI thing. Um, and that's something that's unique uh, in Ableton. So far, haven't found it anywhere else, but I really love it. Get up, hum something in, your idea, you have it in MIDI, save it, work on it the next day. Um, that would be a, fe a feature that's really nice that I'm missing in Bitwig so far. Uh, of course something that also shines really in Ableton compared to Bitwig is the whole uh, time, stre time stretching and slicing algorithms that are in Ableton. Um, they are really nicely done there and uh, not present in this extent in Bitwig Studio at this time. And if you also compare it to Ableton in terms of uh, what's there. Um, of course there's tons of stuff in Ableton and tons of third-party stuff that you can download, tons of stuff you can download from the Ableton site, etc. etc. But you have to be aware uh, that this will most likely double or triple the price of, uh, the, whole, of the software. And the stuff that comes with Bitwig is really cool. So while to some people it might seem that there is not so much stuff going on in there the stuff they deliver with the software in Bitwig is really really nice and 
really high quality. So you can go from there and there are already some third parties uh, coming out with stuff. There are actually a few uh, samples of third party stuff that you can buy in if you download the additional content from Bitweek and you can go from there. So things are coming and I think that will gain momentum as the software goes on. Um, of course you are also probably know that the standard effects that come in Ableton are really nice and really brilliant um, but there is something where Bitwig really shines they have a flexible chaining system and um, you can do loads and loads of stuff with it in the few weeks I had time to play with it I think I only scratched the surface um, this flexible chaining thing will have me get going and experimenting for a long time I think and I think you can get pretty overboard with it um, the next thing is that you actually can send modulation signals between devices VSTs uh, and whatever you like so flexible chaining send modulation signals between the devices etc you can go pretty far with this um, as I said you can of course use third party VSTs uh, with Bitwig um, but for all you Mac users, Mac audio units are not supported at, at this time. But uh, for me that's no biggie. VSDs is pretty much the standard I'm using, so um, that's no problem. Um, there is already decent support for controllers in, in Bitweek, like I said. Like I said, I didn't get the AB crossfader thing to work. Um, but the API is really open. Um, there are already some third-party uh, freebie websites showing up where people are scripting and programming stuff. Uh, so I think uh, this will gain momentum really fast, especially since Bitwig is also available for uh, the whole Linux crowd. And we all know they like to script stuff, so hopefully uh, we will get uh, lots and lots of inputs from there. And, well, to sum it up, what really is brilliant about the whole suit is I never thought that with a version 1 software um, in such a crowded market that uh, the software would be so complete, for lack of a better word. Um, you can take Bitwig, you can produce songs with it in high quality. Um, there is absolutely nothing that I'm really missing uh, to, to make a song or uh, to remix a song. Everything's there at your fingertips. I really like the intuitive and easy workflow. So I also think that it's a really good software for uh, beginners or newbies that are over the step of this intro software stuff like GarageBand or something like that and want to dive in into something really digital audio workstation like it's a massively good software for production and I can see myself uh, changing over to it completely over time so I have still a lot of stuff going on in, in other softwares uh, but over time, I think this could actually um, be the main software I would use because the workflow is really easy, it's really intuitive, especially if you're not uh, used to using a digital audio workstation every day. You fire it up, you can remember stuff really easily. It's, it's really easy to navigate uh, through the whole views uh, and go from zero to song uh, what within short amounts of time. So I really think Bitwig did something new with this. They have a fresh uh, workflow with their whole tap design and a fresh view on many things like modulations, chaining, 
um, having uh, clip launchers and sessions and editing open at the same time, uh, rearrange your views like you want them, tapped uh, projects. So, in my opinion, a really good software. And if you are a serious producer, you should check it out. You can get the demo for free uh, at Bitwig Studios website. Check it out and maybe it is also the software for you. So thanks for watching and also do not miss the written review on digitaldjtips.com. Thanks a lot. I'm Terry42 signing off.